in this video we are going to look at the reaction between burning magnesium and carbon dioxide we all know one thing concerning carbon dioxide it is considered as one of the gases that do not support burning so carbon dioxide does not support burning however when, when you look at the reaction between burning magnesium and carbon dioxide we shall see something different so carbon dioxide does not support burning at the same time it's also denser than air that's why it's used in some of the fire extinguishers however when you look at carbon dioxide in fire extinguishers it will work on certain type of flames while it may not work on others we have certain classes of flames that we call class D flames class D flames here we shall have potassium magnesium and sodium flames so burning magnesium will fall under class D flames so here we shall have our burning magnesium in this video we are looking at a situation where by magnesium is already burning Magnesium alone cannot react with carbon dioxide unless it is burning when it's already in flames. Remember, magnesium burns with a bright white flame. So once you have a fire that is caused by burning magnesium, usually our firefighters must be well conversant with dealing with such flames because carbon dioxide is not recommended in putting out flames caused by burning magnesium. So carbon dioxide is not recommended to be used when putting out flames caused by burning magnesium so we are going to find out why carbon dioxide is not recommended so we normally use certain unique or special powders that we can use to put out certain class d flames so here we normally use special powders to put out that kind of flame caused by burning magnesium and not carbon dioxide let us dig deep and see why this is the case so if we lower our burning magnesium into a gas jar containing carbon dioxide gas what shall we observe let us try and find out because one thing we know about carbon dioxide it is meant to support burning so here we have our burning magnesium burning with a bright white flame so this is our burning magnesium so if this gas jar contains our carbon dioxide and then we'll, we put this burning magnesium into this gas jar we could expect our burning magnesium to stop burning because carbon dioxide is believed to stop such reactions because it does not support burning however we shall observe the following one this burning magnesium will continue to burn for some time so the burning will continue for some time and we shall need to find out why however it will not be as clear as in air it will burn less steadily so the first observation will be burning magnesium will continue to burn for some time however it will burn less easily than in air secondly we shall observe some black carbon particles in this gas jar at the end of the reaction some black carbon particles And then we shall also see some white powder left behind. We shall also see some white powder left behind formed. So what exactly happens for us to see these three observations? Number one, what happens is that we believe when burning magnesium is placed in the gas jar, we all know that burning magnesium tends to produce a lot of heat so that 
too much heat tends to break the bonds between carbon and oxygen. So when you look at our burning magnesium, magnesium solid, when placed in a gas jar containing carbon dioxide gas, so what exactly happens? So when you look at our carbon dioxide, it's believed this carbon dioxide is broken down into carbon and oxygen gas. So due to the excess heat, this excess heat tends to induce this reaction to take place. So because of heat, we tend to have this reaction taking place, producing some oxygen. So this oxygen aids in reaction with the burning magnesium so the oxygen and the burning magnesium will then form magnesium oxide as per this equation so when you look at this equation a burning magnesium with carbon dioxide will then form magnesium oxide whenever oxygen reacts with magnesium we form magnesium oxide so this oxygen here we react with the burning magnesium to form our magnesium oxide. So the magnesium oxide is the white powder. Just like when you burn magnesium in air, you will form white powder. So this is the white powder that we shall see. And then our oxygen being removed from carbon dioxide, we shall remain with our carbon left behind. And this will be the black carbon particles that will be left behind or black solid so one thing to to note if we are to have a recap of what we have just looked at is that when we lower burning magnesium into a gas jar of carbon dioxide the first thing that will be observed is that the burning magnesium tends to release a lot of heat the heat will then split the carbon dioxide into carbon and oxygen and then the magnesium will get the oxygen from from this formed oxygen to form magnesium oxide. So this is the actual equation that takes place. So you can ignore this in your explanation. This equation is kind of intermediate and it's not stable. So we shall have our burning magnesium with carbon dioxide forming white powder and some black solid particles being left behind. But don't forget to talk about the burning continuing to burn for some time however less easily as compared to air so that's why they don't use carbon dioxide fire extinguishers to put out flames that are caused by burning magnesium or class d flames yes thank you for watching if you have any concern or a question concerning this video please leave it in the comment section below see you next time